Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, folks around the world. Welcome to another episode of Hanging at NTHQ, live at Integrates headquarters in beautiful Chiba, Japan. I am your host, Integrates producer and localization director, Matt Papa. And to my right is a guy who does the lion's share of the localization work around here, who goes by the name of... Andrew Singleton, localizer at Integrates. Also in Chiba. I was pretty happy with that one. I just came up that blurry. I was able to get your shirt. That, that, that was good. good. That was good. That was very yeah. fast. Good so, so it's been a couple of weeks since we've seen you guys. As some of you may have heard, uh, Luminous Avenger X is now available, which we will talk about, of course. But before we get to that, it's been a little bit since we've seen these, yeah. these fine folks up here in the Twitches and the YouTubes. So Andrew Singleton, Lion Man at Into Chris. Into Lion. Into Lion. Oh, I like that. I like that. So what you been up to, man? What's uh, what's uh, in the in the Inti Lion? <laughs> oh, it's just, I took a little a couple weeks off for a for, uh, trip home. Yes, you did. I'm just now getting back and, and getting back in the swing of things, and got my copy of Ix. Got started on that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a different experience playing it just sitting on your couch at home versus like studying yeah, studying right. the words you like on your at your at get your a, work get desk, nice wireless a... controller and a big screen, rather yeah. than you know, pouring over all the text uh -huh. and trying to find errors it, and stuff. It really is a completely different experience. Like it's it's kind of hard yeah. to compare the two. Like it's nice. You can't enjoy it in the same way when you're like, yeah, uh, you know, just checking all the text right, and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. And when I, you know, when you check it, I, I actually try not to try not to enjoy it too much because <laughs> I want to save it for later. When yeah, it's, you know. More complete and I can relax and it's not work. So yeah, exactly. I mean, the the perils well, of so. game development, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> Been enjoying it quite With a bit. The, you know, you, you had a long flight back to mm -hmm. the states. You have, which you've been playing, you know. Besides On that, you had, you, had, you had a lot of you had a lot of play yeah. time. Well, because I got a you know a physical copy. Pre-ordered, right. so I had to wait. I couldn't play it on the plane. Yeah, actually. yeah. But uh, so I was playing Ninja Warriors once again. That's once your jam. again, That's your yeah, jam. I love it. I love it. That's your I beat jam. it again and got got the big boy riding and. Oh it's, nice! It's, <laughs> that game's awesome. Good. I think it, it's finally coming out, like in the states, like a physical edition. Oh soon, really? So if anybody's into classic beat 'em ups. That's a good. Look into that one. That's a good. I still got. I still got to pick that That's myself. Great. But yeah, uh, my gaming time has been completely. So let fire emblem devoured by by, <laughs> by three yeah. houses, man. It's it's wild. Like it's been really nice though. Like like I think I mentioned this in the last stream. Like I never was able to really get into that series. Mm -hmm. I love tactical RPG so much, yeah. but for whatever reason, the ones I've tried in the past just I don't know. It just didn't stick with me for whatever reason. Oh boy, that is not the case anymore. Yeah, <laughs> that it. is not. It. Oh. Um, I finished. I rolled credits on my run with uh, Golden Deer. Nice. Nice. Uh, so that was really cool. You immediately and started another one. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, I figured, I, did. I figured. <laughs> Literally, like, the same night I finished it, you know, my uh, my female by left married best boy, Raphael. Nice. Because he's a very good boy. He's and uh, literally, I rolled the credits, so I'm like, I'm going pick a different house now. <laughs> <You know, just, laughs> uh, trying it on uh, maddening difficulty. Yeah. Ooh. It's a doozy. I bet. It's a doozy. Like, Sounds like it. The uh, like the very first fight you do, uh, all your characters are level one. Mm -hmm. Maybe Edelgard or your Byleth is two if you're lucky. Sure. Uh, like the first like real fight where you fight against the, like the mock battle against the other houses. Like mm -hmm. they're like level seven and eight. <laughs> <laughs> what was that with the situation? Yeah, yeah, like all my all my whole crews like I like my Byleth is level two and everyone else is level one. And they're all like level seven and eight, just like totally, just like ready to dunk on you if you like oh, don't plan very, oh, very carefully. Yeah. So like the first time, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go in, you know, you know, fight doing like I know to do, and just <laughs> you can't even rewind on that battle. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just getting absolutely slugged on. Uh, yeah, it was pretty, but yeah, I eventually, you know, got my wits about me, nice. figured it out. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it's, it's been a lot. It's been a real treat with that game so far, just being able to. Enjoy a tactical RPG mm -hmm. that much again. Oh so. yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the Black Eagles have to offer this time. It's a good choice. Yes. Yes. So, but speaking of good choices, we made a pretty good one to uh, release a game called Gunvolt Chronicles: Luminous Avenger. <laughs> it's a good choice. <laughs> so the game came out on September 26th. Been out for a couple weeks now. For those of you folks who are not quite familiar, 
with Luminous Avenger X in our latest installment of the Gunvolt Greater franchise, mm. uh, we actually have a PV for you to check out. So, let's roll that. Gunvolt Chronicles, Luminous Avenger X PV. We can get all on the same page together. In the near future, in a nation unknown, humanity is entering a new age where the majority are now adepts, people who possess supernatural powers known as Septimas. Those without these powers known as Minos are being hunted and executed by the all-powerful Sumeragi Institute of Human Evolution. Yes. No. Copen. The mysterious young man known as the Luminous Avenger, Ix. His basic attack is a photon laser gun that fires high-speed projectiles directly at his targets. Copen marks his targets by dashing into them. He can then hit all his shots with perfect accuracy from anywhere on the screen. By consuming bullets, Copen can perform a high-speed aerial bullet dash. Spend your hard-earned credits on new abilities and upgrades to tear through even the toughest enemies. <laughs> Rola, a combat support robot created by Copen. She can replicate enemy Septimas and turn them into EX weapons that Copen can use at will. Rack up over 1,000 kudos points, and Lola will transform into her humanoid idle mode. Whenever Copen's HP reaches zero, Lola's anthem ability may activate. She will transform into her awakened mode and restore him back to life. Another yet unseen mode may also exist. By now, most of the nation's Minos have been exterminated at the hands of Sumeragi's squadrons. Kohaku, a young lady who acts as the leader of a group of Mino children taking refuge in the city's slums. Kyota. Maria. This story begins with their fateful meeting with Ix. Get ready to face off against Sumeragi's elite soldiers, the Falcons, and their powerful Septimas. The mysterious lightning adept at Sumeragi's beck and call, Blade. The craftsman's dream, Rebellio. The Sudarshana Gravity Well, Stella. The Explosive Artiste, Krim. The Falcon Idol, Isola. The Leonian Tempest, Bakto. The Altair of Vengeance, Dist 9. The mystery of the butterfly effect is waiting to be unraveled. Shh. 
Gun Vault Chronicles Luminous Avenger X Coming September 26, 2019 Get ready for the apex of 2D action! Purchase the game early to receive the exclusive LolaWare DLC costume for Kohaku. Inti Creates And there you go! I, I know so, this seems like uh, some of you have already had the chance to take X for a spin, which is really awesome. Uh, for those of you who have not got a chance to play the game yet, I really hope you get the chance to uh, pick it up well, you're and looking forward to give it. it a try. Uh, for those of you who have not purchased the game yet, uh, if you purchase Luminous Avenger X on PlayStation 4 or Steam, we still have the early purchase bonus yes. going on on those two platforms. I saw it so in the trailer Let's there. get there, it is. Yeah. So for those of you who have still not purchased the game, you can get it on both of those platforms right now, and you can get the special uh, LolaWare DLC costume for Kohaku, so she can, you know, match with her girl, her girl Lola. Yeah. Getting all, twinsies. getting all cute and twinsies and stuff. Uh, you have till the 16th of October to yes. purchase the game and get the LolaWare after the 16th of October. That's it, your 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 twinsies, Kohaku and Lola days will unfortunately be behind you. So, and if uh, on the Nintendo Switch, we actually did this as a pre-purchase yeah. bonus. So unfortunately that time frame has since passed. Um, so if you have not picked the game up, I highly recommend you do so before the 16th of October so you can get this super cute DLC goodness. Now. The game is also coming out on one other platform as well, Xbox One. Uh, the Xbox One version of Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger X has unfortunately hit a problem with its release, and the game is still not available yet. Uh, there was a game-breaking bug that was discovered with the game pretty much at the 11th hour, and we unfortunately had to delay the release of the Xbox One version until we can get all that sorted out and make sure that everybody who plays the game on Xbox One can have a bug-free experience yeah. and uh, not give anybody unnecessary headaches and frustration. So uh, we will keep folks updated on the status of the Xbox One version as we get more information about it. Unfortunately, we don't have any new information to share on that front at this point in time, but I promise you that as soon as we do, we will definitely keep you folks posted so that you know exactly when it's going to hit on the Xbox Store so you're ready to go. And of course, we will still be doing the uh, early purchase DLC for the yes. LolaWare on Xbox One uh, starting from when the game does release. So you don't have to, you know, if you're going to get the game on Xbox One, you don't have to worry about like, right. oh, the, you know, LolaWare's over for everything else. They're not going to be able to get it. You don't have to worry about that. You will still have, you'll still have the opportunity to get the LolaWare costume on the Xbox One when that does hit the Microsoft store. So we appreciate all of you Xbox folks' patience while we get this problem sorted out. We are working as diligently as we possibly can with uh, the folks at Microsoft to get this resolved. And hopefully we'll have more information for that or on that for you folks very soon. Now, as we said, the game is out and hopefully people are enjoying it. Uh, when the game released on September 26th on the other platforms, uh, Gunvolt series artist takayama -san released a brand new release day Luminous Avenger X wallpaper. This super rad image we got here of our boy Copen and a trusty, trusty gal Lola. Uh, in Japanese, of course, it says, yeah. you know, it's the uh, uh, Japanese title for the game. Shiroki Kotetsu no X. This is very cool looking. Though. Yeah, this is very cool looking. This is like, you know, congratulations on the release. Yeah. Uh, type of thing. I don't like. I thought it was kind of cool to just kind of leave it in Japanese like that. Yeah. I think it looks pretty neat, personally. Style, yeah. yeah, it's it's a style. It's a style. And now you know what it says. So even if you didn't know what it <laughs> says before, now you know what it says. It doesn't say anything weird or anything like that. <laughs> so you're not saying like, you know, buy Luminous Avenger X or else or you know something like that. No, 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 no. no. Well, that would be really funny if that if it didn't say that though. It's <laughs> a secret. Secret too. 
English speakers. <laughs> yeah. So you can get that on the Luminous Avenger X website right now. We also have a mm -hmm. summer wallpaper that we released uh, about was that about a month ago? I guess that was about right. Yeah, about a month ago. There's actually two super awesome Luminous Adventure X wallpapers you can get on the Luminous Adventure X website. You can go to gunvolt.com and find all of the necessary links from there. Right. Just two wallpapers? For now? For now. For now. For now. For now. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> So, uh, moving right along, um, while the game's been coming out, those of you who have been following us on social media and all that stuff, you maybe noticed that we've been uh, putting out Luminous Adventure X music videos. Yes. Very nice. And uh, the latest one that released, what, yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I think that's all. Is right. an another sweet, sweet Lola track titled Kin Kindled Spirits. I almost goofed on that name there for a second. <laughs> I almost said Kindred Spirits. Uh, Almost like it's a pun or something. <laughs> Me? Huh? Make a pun in a title name for something? I would no. never. Who would do that? <laughs> what I really liked about this song, because at Tokyo Game Show and stuff, we did a couple Lola rides and stuff mm. like that. They were getting so hyped during this song. Really? I mean, because you were saying, Moya say, like, you know, yeah. get fired up. Sure. Yeah, sure. We're getting so, like, yeah, it was getting pretty hyped, just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was pretty cool. So, th this is this has become a personal favorite of mine, just because, like, just seeing, mm. you know, Minetis on and uh, Aya and Ayano, the dancers, just, yeah, get all, yeah. just get all hyped and... <laughs> yeah, we, uh, a bunch of the people, like, as uh, Tom Barnard said in the chat, a bunch of people at the show, uh, we were selling, like, Lola, Lola Live, uh, these, like, oh. these like towels, you know, they're kind of like it's long, spin. yeah, they're doing yeah. The, nice. the towel spin yeah, during the, fun. when she was doing the, you know, the, you two of us going like this with the towels, and it was, it was pretty wild. <laughs> more like so, Mawa, Mawa. Hmm? More like Mawa. You guys gotta study your Japanese so you can, so you can laugh at all these silly jokes for me. <laughs> so you can listen to Kindled Spirits. And kindred spirits. Mm -hmm. Sad type of songs, if you know what I mean. You can find one. I'm sure you can find a song called Kindred Spirits out there on the great wide world of Spotify. But Kindle Spirits and a bunch of other Lola vocal tracks are available Thank on you. our official YouTube channel. It's a lot. And on yeah, we're almost we almost have all of them up there at this point. So generous. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so it you really can, is. You can you can listen to them legitimately. <laughs> yeah. On our official YouTube site. You can find them on the Luminous Adventure X homepage, all in one place. Or if you just go to the Indie Creative YouTube channel, you can find them there as well. So if you want some some good bops, and some good bangers, blast blast some combat pod low out yeah. your windows while you're rolling rolling down the highway or rolling through a mm. quiet residential neighborhood, <laughs> whichever you want to do, that is entirely up to you. you totally do it through a quiet residential neighborhood. Just so it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> So that is Kindled Spirits, and I really hope you guys continue to enjoy uh, the music videos that we're putting out. The sound team has been putting a lot of work into getting these music videos out. You know, some of this uh, this one doesn't have it, but a bunch of the videos are like an actual like yeah. performance of totally. you know by like Minato San and yes music by really the cool. sound team. Some of them even have you know Aya and Ayano the dancers mm. too. So if you have not seen the music videos for these yet, I highly recommend you do so. Because uh, they are a real treat, and oh, yeah. the sound team put a lot of hard work into making this. So I really hope you guys are able to enjoy this. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't help it. You, it just it just happens. But moving on, uh, we just wrapped up what, a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. You know, it's October, and being October means. It's almost time for spoopy season. Well, it you is spoopy, spoopy season. It's almost time for the spookiest yeah, day of the year. That's true. Halloween, of course. It's really coming up. A couple weeks now. Yeah. Yeah. What? Three weeks, actually. To exactly three weeks from now. <gasps> three weeks. Three weeks to Halloween. I love Halloween. And uh, oh, yeah. Japan's really starting to embrace Halloween more, which is awesome. It's and uh, really gotten big really fast. It really has. <laughs> it's great. I'm so happy about it. And we, at Integrates, being a Japanese company, are no exception to the rule. Because we asked you, 
You, you, you, you, you, you, you, all of you folks with the names of the screen. And we asked you, who would you like to see front and center representing mm -hmm. on the brand new Halloween wallpaper that Hatake Amazon is going to make for the occasion? The votes have been tallied from folks around the world. <laughs> and this is our results. Very interesting. Yeah? Very, what's what's very so interesting, interesting about it? Uh, like, I, I do like seeing the difference between the, like, Japanese and Western audiences because mm -hmm. you can see like on the the chart there the blue, yeah it's, the blue it's, ones it's a little are hard from, to see but yeah the blue can... ones are from the English account yes and the, the yellow ones are from the Japanese account yeah but yeah it's hard to see but Blade was number one in the U S right? yes Blade was number one from the Very at Inky Creates En account Blade was actually number one mm -hmm. and uh, Isola was actually third yeah. Isola was third on the English account. In the English account, it was uh, Blade, Lola, Isola, mm -hmm. Copen, Stella, Dis9. Interesting. That was the order. So yeah. the, the top six was the same, but the order was a little different. Hmm. But yeah, also, yeah, like Andrew said, all the blue ones are, are English speakers. Okay. You guys can't lose next time. <laughs> get, get those votes in. Got to get in those right. votes. We need more blue order. than yellow. It's not a competition, but I just... <laughs> but what what happened though with the English results yeah. coming in with this was uh, you know because there's like the top row and the bottom row uh, Kohaku was in sixth place on the Japanese yeah right and then this nine so yeah, we, the we, we put it because we tallied the Japanese ones first right and when right. we added the English ones mm -hmm. to it uh, this nine uh, hopped up to sixth place with his lady right next to his lady Stella which is fitting. It's yeah. fitting. Oh yeah. You know, I I think that's actually that was thanks to you. You did that. Yes, you, you did English that. speakers, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. Your votes that. counted. Yes, they, they matter. Um in, in, uh, the English speaking, like just the ratios to votes, um, Krim actually did pretty well too. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, Krim was a very close seventh Ooh. in uh in the uh, English voting. Yeah. Like he was like right behind this nine mm -hmm. in terms of the amount of votes got from the English one. Uh, so I know, you know, Krabby Boy almost had it, but almost. you know, we, we haven't revealed exactly how many characters are going to be in this yet, right. so you will just have to wait and see, yeah. but there yeah. you go, Isola, the Falcon Idol, uh, taking the top spot, followed by Blade, Lola Copen, mm -hmm. Stella Dis9, and then running out the bottom row, Kohaku Krin, Belio, Bakuto, Maria, Kyoto G. I felt really bad for Kyoto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Despite the fact that he got 12th and not 13th, mm -hmm. he ha poor Kyoto had no votes on the English oh. side. Goose egg. Goose egg for our poor boy Kyoto. Maybe next time. Maybe next time, Kyoto. Kyoto's a good boy. <laughs> next time, next time, show, show a little Kyoto love next time. So, while now that we have all this tasty data, mm -hmm. uh, Takayama san is going to work his magic. And, all right. Uh, we'll have I can't some, wait to uh, see it. Spoopy surprises yeah, in these are, for you folks sooner mm, rather than later. Yeah, the Halloween wallpaper is always something. Like always, yeah, say always my absolute favorite. Uh, and I'll, I'll be sharing some of our older ones on the social media yeah. account so you can uh, sure. get your uh, wallpapers in. That's something on the run up. Yeah, get, get your wallpapers all primed and ready for the occasion. So thank you guys again for casting your vote. We really appreciate it. I, I always have a lot of fun with these. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, you kind of see where the fan bases are and just you yeah. know who's popular and who's not. Uh, so this was a lot of fun, <laughs> and uh, thank you to everyone who participated, and uh, hopefully we'll have more polls like this in the future. We'll see what happens. We, uh, we love our wallpapers. Yes. We love our <laughs> wallpapers For sure. here at Indie Create. So how many, wonder, how many Indie Create's wallpapers are total now? There's a lot. Several dozen. There's a right? lot, yeah. yeah. If, you dug up, if you go through all our games starting from GD1, there's a lot, for sure. So that almost wraps it up. Almost. But I actually have one new announcement for you fine folks out there. Next month, we are going to be wrapping up our 2019 convention season. What? When one more? Go, yeah, one more, one right? More? <laughs> when we go back to good old New York City. A big apple. Big Ringo. Yes, <laughs> O.K. Ringo. The O.K. Ringo 
We are going back to Anime NYC this year, November 15th, 16th, and 17th at the Jacob Javits Center mm. in good old oh, yeah. Manhattan. And we will have our, our big boy anti Creates booth that we had at PAX West. We'll be shipping that off to New York for the mm. show. We are actually playing on... Uh, you hear that music? Is it a coincidence? Almost certainly okay. not. <laughs> I don't know. It was almost certainly not a coincidence. That, that music from Dragon Mark for Death oh. is playing. Hmm. Well, why could that possibly be playing? I wonder. <laughs> no well, y'all just have to come visit us at the Javits Center for Anime NYC, November 15th to the 17th, and find out why Dragon Mark for Death music is playing and what that could possibly have to do with this show. Yes, I'm very excited. I am a I am an East Coast boy. I grew up yeah. one state away from New York. I went there all the time in college. So going to New York City is always kind of like a semi homecoming for mm. me. Uh, so I'm very, very, very excited to see all your awesome faces there at the show again. And I think uh, suffice to say, that our our booth at this year's Anime NYC is going to be a lot different from our old one. Oh yeah. So if you saw us there last year, uh, I think. You have a lot more to look forward to. Yeah, it was a lot of fun last year. Yeah, so we I did. Think, yeah. yeah, I mean, Anime NYC, it's, it's still the in like its infant in the stages. It's, it's only mm-hmm. the third year of Anime NYC, but man, growing they are rapping. growing. It's getting big. They are growing. You know, like I said, growing up outside, you know, in Jersey, uh, you know, I've seen so many anime events come and mm. go in New York City, and none of them ever took off. Interesting. Yeah, it's wild. So just finally seeing an anime event in. New York City Mm -hmm. being able to take off like this it's really exciting so hopefully we will see you fine folks there for Anime NYC November 15th through the 17th and that should wrap up our 2019 con season you tired of planes yet? (laughs) (laughs) getting there getting there you know it's nice to have a break everyone yeah it does the switch helps a lot though oh (laughs) what a godsend that thing is So, as you may have seen on Twitter leading up to the stream, I wanted to celebrate the release of Luminous Avenger X yes. with a collection of Luminous Avenger X fan art. And we haven't done a fan art showcase in quite yeah, a, while a while on the stream. So I figured with the release of X mm. and all the amazing art I've seen out there from you folks, now is yeah. as good of a time as any to bring them back the fan art showcase right here, right now, today. I want to see it. I put together a whole bunch of amazing Luminous Avenger X art that you posted to us using hashtag LAXFans. And I put a whole bunch of them together, and we're going to take a look at them together here on the stream. So let's bring up number one. I got my list of, I got my list of all of the participants here on my trusty, on my trusty phone. So let's bring up Fan art number one. Let's bring that. Let's bring that up. The anticipation. <laughs> the anticipation. There it is. Oh, Look at that wow. cute. Uh, adorable. Look at that just oozing with cuteness. Kohaku, done by the extremely talented Jam Bolts on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Happy X release. Thank you so much, Jam Bolts. We really appreciate <laughs> this. Just. Unbelievably adorable. Like, just. Really, it really is. Ugh, it's, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so freaking cute that it just. What else can you say? It's just oozing with adorableness. Absolutely adorable. So, thank Too you much. Very, thank you very much, uh, Jam Bolts on Twitter. You did an absolutely lovely Kohaku. Thank you. Happy X release image. Let's move right along. Let's bring up image number two. And I gotta bring my list back. <laughs> nice Ooh, cute little Kohaku cute, sketch. This cute, is from my uh, Age of Descent on Twitter. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love all the Kohaku love. Yeah. You, know? you guys are embracing the new see. girl. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Some, it's always tough for the Some new folks girl. fear okay. change. Yeah. Some <laughs> folks fear change. But not Luminous Avenger X fans. No. Y'all don't fear change. Y'all embrace change. So thank you very cute much. Kohaku. Thank you very much, uh, Age of Descent on Twitter for this adorable Kohaku image. Number three, let's move right along. 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> this one sent to us by Tronbon Art on Twitter. Causing problems for Lola. That damn goose. goose. That damn goose. Stole Lola. The goose stole Lola. Give her back. That goose better watch out. Took the idol. Co Copen is not going to be happy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Our boy Copen is not going to be happy. Copen v. Goose. That, oh, Copen v. Goose. That's a showdown for the ages. Right there. No, I'm not sure who it would. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, right? The, the, goose is, the goose's power uh, really, truly is unmeasurable. Truly, truly is. So thank you very much, Tron Barnard, so for this. Cute. For this uh, amazing uh, luminous goose, luminous it, it is white. That's so true. I mean, I mean, Copen are like white armor buddies. You don't know how tough that goose armor is. Luminous Avenger goose. <laughs> so thank you very much, Tron Barnard, for this goose tastic image. Moving right along to image number four. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Submitted to us by Bloody wow. Purity on Twitter. Copen's had a long day. <laughs> My man's had a long, this long, like long like day. Juice and a candy cigarette. Right? Oh, this totally. It's a or, yeah, orange juice and a uh, candy candy cigarette. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this like this 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 is just like a. I am so done with today. <laughs> he has just had enough. It's pretty of perfect. Sumeragi's nonsense. He's had enough. Copen in a nutshell, really. <laughs> Our boy's had enough. Of Sumeragi's nonsense for the day, and he's just—he needs to. He gold, needs gets to old just, after a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, if you have to deal with, you, you know, you step uh, out of the base for one minute, and there's always Sumeragi goons there. I know. He just gets a, he's just, he's he just, just wears you down. He's probably just so tired. <laughs> Our boy's just so, so tired. tired. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bloody Purity, for for right. our very very tired Copen boy. Moving right along to number five. Oh wow. We got this amazing, absolutely adorable comic from Kiwi Kamikaze on Twitter. Look at they are summoning Ix. <laughs> I, I I love how their arms are in are in an X shape together. That's great. So what are we doing here, Cut? <laughs> Saw this on the internet. And then <laughs> Our poor boy Copen just crashed. Crashes right through the damn floor. That's adorable. I absolutely, I absolutely love this. This, I, I, I wish this happened. Wow. You know, alternate yeah. time, alternate timeline. I absolutely wish that this was how they met. Summon him from Ix the internet. Just, you know, chant the magic luminous words, and he just, <laughs> just smacks right into the damn floor. Absolutely love it. And actually, uh, some some folks sent us a whole bunch of art, so we actually yeah. have a. Uh, Two from our uh, oh, wow. our friend Kiwi here. I, I I love this. Just this this is such a crim mood. That's true. This is such a crim mood, and like this this is just perfect crim mood and especially perfect Isola mood. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> she just is tired of she not yeah she's it. so done with this nonsense. She's so done with their nonsense. She's always done. I love her. <laughs> Perfect expression. Poor Billy, he's got those luscious locks. Like, oh yeah, that's got to be frightening. Especially if you transform. Right? Like, then what? He's got. Then you know, what? He's gonna. He's trying to shear our boy here. And I don't know if for, for Billy was gonna be too happy about that. Doesn't seem like. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kiwi Kamikaze, on Twitter for these amazing, amazing. Move on to number six. Number six. Oh, this is from cool. Lines on White on Twitter. Our boy Copen, Luminous Avenger X title. He is ready for battle. He got he got a good night's sleep. He's not tired anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got a good night's sleep. He's got the ferocity he back. Ready. He got his coffee. He's got the ferocity back, and he is ready to take on those those damn Sumeragi yeah. goons, just lying in wait like they do. Super cool. No, I, I, I love this. I, I love all. Of, I love action. Copen poses because yeah. he's such an action-oriented character. Mm -hmm. So I love seeing. I love oh, seeing yeah. like Copen ready for battle. Uh, those are some of my favorite pieces of Copen art out there, and uh, this is absolutely no exception. Uh, I, I love the style of this. 
Well, thank you very much. Lines on white on Twitter. I'm losing my place here in the list. Number, well, it's too high. Number seven. <laughs> oh. This is done by Pastel Axel on Twitter. We have our awakening mode. Yeah. Combat pod, battle pod, whatever you want to call them. Rocking battle pod battle today. Pod. Battle pod, combat pod, whatever you want to call pod. her. Awakened Lola. Beautiful I idol. absolutely love the coloring and That's just like really the lighting cool. on this. Like yeah. it's like shimmering, mm -hmm. it, which is like totally it's perfect, perfect yeah. for Awaken Mode Lola. Luminous Idol. Yes! Lola. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like made that. Made a sequel right there. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Luminous Let's Idol. Let's go. Luminous Lola. Idol. That is really dope. Oh yeah, no, I absolutely I absolutely love the way you color this. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Really um, cool. Thank you very much, Pastel Axel, on Twitter for this lovely image. Moving right along to number eight. Got some Ooh, cosplay snap. up in here. This submitted to us by Mega Ozu on Twitter. Are sometimes tired, Always sometimes impressive. ready to fight. Yeah. Action boy <laughs> coping uh, in the flesh himself. Go, go pose with the orange juice. <laughs> pose with the orange juice. No, I absolutely love this no, cosplay. I, I have seen uh, Mega Ozu's yeah. cosplay in person, mm -hmm. and it's so freaking cool. Super impressive. Uh, I absolutely love this. You've done an amazing job on your costume and thank you for bringing us to multiple shows yeah always. we've seen uh mega ozu here as coven at multiple conventions never more appropriate no exactly so thank you for making this amazing costume and spreading the uh luminous avenger love we actually have another image from uh, mega ozu oh. let's look at uh his second one here oh i love these yeah i love these now, now this is from gunvolt 2 this isn't mm -hmm. quite luminous avenger right, right. But those are all the different, all of the different Lola weapon yeah. versions from Gunvolt 2. And and by the looks of it, even like uh, some even some other ones back there. We got a big giant. Yeah. We got a big like giant a big one. one. We got like Lola wing ones yeah. back there. These are so cool. Uh, absolutely so cool. love these. Uh, keep up that amazing handiwork that you do because this is super, super cool. No, oh, amazing. Yes, thank you for sharing all that love. Wonder if there'll be more. We got a whole new, whole new range of Lola's now, <laughs> so who knows? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, moving right along to no number pressure. nine. No number nine. Oh, that's adorable. I love this. It's, it's, uh, this is by, I hope I said it right, Starion Sefi on Twitter. hope I said that right. Uh, I love it. She's, it's like, it's the Lola pillow. It's got Lola. It's the Lola pish pillow. It's me. I always said pillow and cushion. I said, like, pisho. <laughs> I don't know why, but I absolutely love this. This is so super cute. Just like, can you imagine just like, like holding a plushie of yourself? Yeah. Like, that's super cute. I absolutely love this. Uh, we actually have two from uh, Sefi over here. Let's see the uh, other one from... <laughs> Perfect. I, uh, I thank you all so much for indulging my Copen Sundary poll on Twitter. For those of you, you who, partici shirt. who uh, participated <laughs> in that, uh, you can thank yeah, this, yeah. this guy here for coming up with a Sundary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was that was very <laughs> that was very 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 nice. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things. You know, as an editor, you just see, you're just like, <laughs> just like yes, <laughs> so Nailed good. It. Uh, so now, Sun Copen's Sundariness has been immortalized <laughs> in art. But you know what? Yeah, he may he may grump about wearing that shirt, but he's totally gonna wear it though. Oh yeah, he's totally gonna wear it because Lola won't let him live it down. That's if he right. Doesn't. That's right. It's a present. I'm sure it's probably a present. Oh, I'm, it's gotta be either cool. Kohaku made it, it or made it. Lola made it. That's One of thing. them made That's it. Thing. Totally One of them made it, and there's <laughs> no way he's not enough of a Sundari to say no to that. No. But he's still a pretty big son, Derry. He might say dot dot dot. Yeah, he might dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Face. Thanks. Dot dot dot. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Who that was Sefi on Twitter? Thank you very much for Beautiful. that. We're right along to number ten. Ooh. We got more X cosplay up in yes. here. Perfect. This is done by the one and only Jewel Maiden, rocking her absolutely amazing Isola cosplay. Yes. Uh, Jewel Maiden actually visited us at PAX West, yeah. rocking the Isola costume before. What a surprise! This was even yeah. out. Yeah. 
She rolled up in Isola cosplay three weeks before the game even was mm -hmm. out at PAX West. And that was so, so dedicated. Cool. I res Forward mad, first. mad, mad respect. And we actually have another photo of, uh, of Jewel here in her Isola costume. Get a more. That's just, right. Yeah. yeah. See the whole thing there. Bra bravo. You did an amazing job. Even the. Um, and she shows to us at the convention, even like mm -hmm. the, the Falcon pen actually pops off. You can like. <laughs> Hold it and like do stuff yeah, with it, and, like uh, all kinds of stuff. That is so cool. Uh, thank. Uh, I mean, cosplay takes so much work. Oh, wow. I know a yeah, lot of cosplayers. Imagine. I know how much work goes into uh -huh. these, and just you know, people like you and Ozu and all the other Gunvolt cosplayers out there. Thank you for putting so much love and hard work into Incredible. representing our characters. You know, right. as creators, that always means a lot to us. So you know, and that goes for everything, for art and everything too. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I, I know very well the, uh, the pitfalls of cosplay yeah. <laughs> all too well. So thank you very much, Jewel Maiden, for your amazing Isola cosplay. And we're going to move right along to number 11. Number 11. Ooh. This one comes <laughs> to us from Future Lapis on Twitter, bridging the worlds of yep. Gunvolt 2 and Luminous Avenger X together. <laughs> I would love to see this. This is pretty good. I would love to see this in it's like good. official canon capacity yes. somehow. Like the the commanders of the stage, if you will. Yeah, right. The Falcon Idol, Isola, Andrew's favorite character, Gallery. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love this. I, I, I wish this was real. <laughs> yeah, no, make it happen. I wish this was real. They need to collab ASAP. They'll get in the house. Yes. Get Gallery get and house. Isola in the house. I cannot wait for the day that happens. So thank you very much, Lapis, very on Twitter. Uh, this is absolutely awesome. Good idea, good execution. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, moving right along to number 12. Ooh. I love this. This is from Lunachi on Twitter. We got the X cast. Well, most of the X cast. Ready for Mighty in Luminous Avenger. <laughs> yeah, right? In uh, they see like mighty gunvolt form, yeah. Like this is rocking that eight bit mighty gunvolt really style. And I, it. I love it. you absolutely nailed this. Like this, like you could tell somebody, oh, this is from secret mighty gunvolt <laughs> project, and someone probably you, you could that's believable. Uh, yeah, I, I love pixel art. I'm a big pixel oh, art yeah. person. Uh, yeah. So you, you know, not only does is the pixel art really great, but you captured the essence of the character mm -hmm. so well in that 8-bit style, which is not easy to do, mind you. No. no. <laughs> it's a lot harder, harder than it harder looks to sure. make 8-bit pixel art this look authentic and like the character. So, bravo to you, Lunachi. You did an amazing job uh, bringing our our fancy Switch mm -hmm. graphics to 8-bit uh, to land. Uh, this is really, really, really cool. Uh, moving right along to number 13. Right along, number 13. This oh. one comes to us from Rokuro the Fox on Twitter. Look at that fluffy boy. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. splendid Fluff town rebellio goodness up in here. I I, I love his, his fluff is just such a appreciated thing. Yeah. Just from what I've seen. Yeah. And I I, 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 I kudos, kudos to y'all for that. Um, I, I absolutely love this rebellio image. Um, you, you, like just the way he colored him, and just the way oh, like yeah. I really like how his eyes look. They're not there's like a lot of like life to them. I really like <laughs> cool. that, and you know just that 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 fluffy fluffy goodness is always appreciated. And yeah, he's fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Rokuro the Fox from Twitter don't for fight him. sending in. Yeah, what's that? Still still want to find him. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Gunvolt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving right along, number fourteen. Number 14, we're gonna move right along. This comes to us from Akira Light 00 on Twitter. We got the That's main cool. the main cast yeah. of X. Yeah, I, I, I like the way it's actually separated with the X. Snap. I'm not sure if you did that on purpose or not, but if you did, <laughs> good job. That's awesome. That is really cool. Yeah, I, I love this is done. Is this what colored pencil? It sure looks like, like colored it, yeah. pencil. Uh, this is really really cool. I, I love I love your style. It's very it's very cute and bright. I really really appreciate it. You know, especially like I said, it looks like colored pencil. I'm not sure if it is, 
Mm. Uh, but it looks like it, and it looks like this was hand drawn. Yeah. Uh, and I love that. I love that look. This it is does. super cool. Love the little blushy cheeks on the Kohaku yeah. and the <laughs> It's super cute. Mm -hmm. And uh, some got some angry friends, Coconut and Blade. <laughs> that looks really cool. Uh, I, I absolutely love this. This is super, super cool. So thank you, Akira Light 0 on Twitter for this one. I'm going to move right along to number 15. It's actually, uh, we have two. This actually comes from uh, Monolith the Kid on Twitter. We got uh, everyone's favorite cigarette smoking bombshell, <laughs> Stella. Uh, no, I don't condone smoking, but. Oh, no. <laughs> Gonna raise the ESRB rating. Yeah, this is this stream is now officially rated <laughs> T for Teen. Oh, snap. For use of tobacco use of products. Tobacco. We gotta put that on the back. Damn it. Screen. That's really Why, cool. Why, Stella? Though. Why? That's a really great <laughs> So, in all seriousness, no, 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 this looks really, really, really good. Um, You've, you've, you've captured Stella's essence perfectly, as far as mm. I'm concerned. Uh, we actually have another one from uh, Monolith. This oh, a bunch of art, yes. Let's show the other Monolith one. We got a uh, like, bleshy Wait. little Isola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but attitude, you got the attitude. Yes, you got the, got the tude, but also got, also got the bleshy face. Like, I'm putting Perfect. on this tude, but it's really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, <laughs> kind of face uh, from Isola. Uh, super cute art. Thank you so much, Monolith, on Twitter for all this wonderful art. And finally, our last one, number 16. We're going to roll on over to that one. This oh. comes to us from <laughs> Boberatu on oh. Twitter. Utilizing that NES style pal, we got, oh, cool. we got, we got Blade, we got Jota from GV1, mm. and we got hood, hoodie, hoodie Boy Copen, the GV1 style. Coping yeah, up in here. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen That's the, really the, cool. the yeah, coping hood in a while. It's been a hot minute since we've uh -huh. seen that. But I, I love this. Looks like it belongs on like a stage select screen. Yeah, or like, really. If, you know, or like, um, if the characters are like having like a dialogue, mm -hmm. it has kind oh, of like yeah, the character portrait on like the side sure, of the screen, sure. and then like the dialogue pops yeah, up to the side. Cool. I can totally envision like those. Mm -hmm. Portraits like right there with that. Yeah, it looks like it just fits right at home that in that cool. NES. Like, mm -hmm. if all those you know GV conversations were happening on an NES, I can yeah. imagine it looking something like this. It would. So I guess the bottom is like the accurate NES power. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Really cool. You know, yeah, it's that's got, a nice touch. Yeah, I really like that authentic NES touch. Uh, that's super cool. So thank you very much to everyone who submitted fan art for. Our stream. This Some was great this stuff. was yeah. You, you the Gunvolt community never ceases to amaze. We got together when for it comes, the new release. When it comes to uh, submitting new art, yeah. it's just y'all y'all are fantastic. So thank you to everybody who submitted art to us. Um, we actually don't have that much time left. Oh yeah. So let's take the amount of time we do have. I want to play some Luminous okay. Avenger X while we still got you around. Oh, our controller's down here. Let me grab that. And, uh, would you like to do the honors? Sure. Okay. Do that. So we're going to kick it over to some Luminous Avenger X gameplay. We got R R Roland Lola on the <laughs> Roland Lola uh, title screen up in here. Yeah, you can just go to that. You can go to that top yeah. one. Yeah, and just pick whatever. Just do a stage thing. Whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm trying to do early one. I don't want to spoil anybody too much. Uh, Are you building 13? Yeah. I don't think you've really done much with Stella on here. No. Go for it. Let's go in there. Get that gutless so you can get some little action. Yeah, I'd love, yeah. To, love to hear it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions. Yeah, so while, while uh, Andrew here is uh, dismantling Sumeragi Building 13, <laughs> uh, <coughs> I will be taking this opportunity to answer some of your questions. I can see you, YouTube. I can see you, Twitch. I'll be taking this opportunity to answer your questions. <laughs> I'm seeing talk of jutes. I'm seeing jute talk up in, up in the Twitch chat. I, 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 uh, I really appreciate how you guys will not let the jutes die. Never. <laughs> I, I appreciate that very much. <laughs> you know what? When I first saw the jutes thing, 
Yeah. Least the word jutes is really funny to me. It's, it's really funny. It is. It's yeah. just a goofy sounding it's word. Really very. Yeah, there, yeah. There's there's the the jutes, uh, the jutes uh, master. I, I see you up in there. Uh, thank you for uh, the endless jute theme laughs. Like, I will be the first to admit, I love memes. I love memes. I meme trash, and I don't apologize for it. So thank you all for all the amazing uh, <coughs> um, Any updates on the limited run collector's edition? Um, I don't really think there's anything to update. Uh, it was limited, the limited run purchase period has since come and gone. Uh, those of you who ordered a standard or collector's edition, that is what you will get. Um, yeah, that's really it. And uh, yeah, when, uh, when it is Produced and ready to ship. Uh, limited run. We'll send it to you. Um, seen a bunch of GV2 Steam questions. Uh, as they, as unfortunately the answer always is, I do not have anything concrete to share with you, other than I would love to have GV2 on Steam. But you got to remember, uh, we are a small company. Uh, we are doing our best to get our games on Steam as quickly as we can, uh, but you know, these things do take time. We're going through our catalogs though, we still have a bunch of games that are waiting for Steam releases, so I just continue to ask for your patience. We haven't forgotten about it. Uh, trust me, I, I see the tweets, I see the comments. Uh, all, the, all I can tell you right now is we know, and we're working to get more games on PC as quickly as we can. I'm um, seeing stuff on. <clears throat> I'm looking over here at YouTube. Yeah, once the limited run version comes out. Yeah, again, once once the manufacturing is complete, uh, they will uh, limited run will be probably more. We'll have better knowledge of those time frames than I will. Um, but you know, you know, the pre-orders are done, so you know now it goes into manufacturing, yeah. and then they will deliver it whenever it's ready. So I'm sure y'all guys will get more updates from limited run as they have more information about it. Yeah, we want to watch them for updates on that. <laughs> Any plans for t-shirt reprints? Uh, we generally don't do t-shirt reprints. Um, you know, especially for shirts that we've had for a long time. You know, if a shirt... We generally do, like, a few hundred shirts when we make an initial print run. And if they take a long time to sell out, we almost certainly will not do a reprint. Um, if they sell out really very quickly, um, then that's something that we can consider. But uh, generally speaking, we do not do reprints. Uh, Fan Gamer does reprints sometimes, but that's up to their discretion. Uh, over on YouTube, it says, what's the next big thing Inti is planning? Uh, we got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Uh, nothing I can share with you here today, because you know, non-disclosure agreements are a thing. But uh, we always have stuff in the pipeline. Our pipeline is never empty, that much I can assure you. Uh, so we do have some new stuff on the way, for sure. Uh, do you know if the director has any plans for DLC for this game? Uh, we're still kind of evaluating the situation with all that. Um, I can't make any promises, yes or no, about uh, DLC for Ix. Um, you know, the game just came out not even three weeks ago. Uh, so we'll kind of assess the situation and see, see where everything stands and we'll kind of make a more clear decision from there once we have some more data in our, in our bank. Uh, will any X merch be available outside, online slash outside of Japan, like Lola Cushions? Um, we are trying to bring more and more of our Japanese merch to shows. Um, as, if you saw us at Patch List, you saw we had a whole bunch of Japan exclusive merchandise there. Uh, we are going to keep we're going to continue to bring uh, Japanese manufactured merchandise to our shows. What we bring, how much of it we bring, is always up in the air because, you know, shipping, you have to ship stuff, stuff like Lola Cushions, I would love to have there. Um, but, you know, they're big and heavy. <laughs> they're a little tough to ship, uh, but we're, uh, we're, we're doing what we can. Uh, I can't make any promises on exactly what items we will have for uh, MAMC just yet. I will update more about that as it gets closer to the show. 
Uh, but we are making every effort to bring more of our uh, Japan, you know, made in Japan, sold in Japan goods, at the very least, to shows. I know most of the DLC stuff are just in Japan. There's no DLC in Japan right now, either. Um, if, if DLC comes out for one of our games, it'll be available worldwide. We don't do, like, region-limited DLC. Unless it's, like, a pre-order bonus from a specific store, uh, which is, you know, something that that retailer works out. Uh, drama CDs in the U.S.? Uh, not likely. Uh, simply because uh, the drama CDs that we've made for the Gunvolt series over time, uh, obviously they're all in Japanese. Um, so unless you yeah. speak Japanese, you're not going to get uh, too much out of it, I guess? Oh no! I got... Oh, oh snap! There she is. There she is. She got your back. She got, got your back. But yeah, drama scenes are a bit of a tough sell, uh, simply because they're all in Japanese. And that is of not that is, unfortunately is not of interest to the vast majority of people. Uh, they're not necessarily Japan exclusive, but more they're like they're not DLC costumes, they are pre-order bonuses that are like retailer specific. Um, so those are things that are arranged by those retailers. Right. Um, which they have exclusive rights to. Yeah, if a retailer in the U.S. wanted to do something like that, then that's a conversation we could maybe have. But, uh, the, the situation is a little bit different. That isn't something that everybody can get, though. That's just that's a special pre-order bonus commissioned by that retailer. So it's a little different. This probably should wrap up right in time. Yes, oh yeah, look at that, right on, right on time, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice I got in. zero, no. Rip score, though. Rip. Rip score, Rip. man. <laughs> Rip score, homie. Attempt is made. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all so much, so, so much okay. for joining us. Uh, it's been a lot of fun seeing everyone's mm -hmm. reactions to Luminous Adventure X. Uh, for those of you who have not picked up the game yet or are waiting for those sweet, sweet physical versions, I really, really, really hope you enjoy the game. I think if you're a Gunvolt fan, or even if you're not, there's a lot of good stuff to store for you that I think you're really going to enjoy. Uh, as for our next stream, we should be, we should be able to do it on our normal schedule two weeks from now. So. Uh, obviously, I will let you all know on on the Inti Creates sure. EN Twitter account, where we post all of our latest and greatest Inti Creates information. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, I'm so excited that X is finally out there in the yes, ether, and that we can sure. share the excitement for you guys. A special thank you to everybody who submitted fan art to us for this show. That was a lot of fun. Uh, maybe after uh, you know, get some uh, get some more people playing X. Maybe we'll do this again at some point. Yes. So again, thank you all so much for joining us. We will see you in two weeks, and until then, I will see you on IntiCreatesN on Twitter for all the latest and the greatest news from us at IntiCreates. Until then, see you next time. Be good, be well, and take care. Later. Bye bye. bye, -bye.